Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Superman Lois. We're going to be doing a little theory crafting here, talking about what could potentially come later in the season, because they are building up to stuff, and this is going off of what we kind of saw in the series premiere just a few days ago. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So yeah, Superman and Lois episode 1 came out, it was great, I really enjoyed it, and thank you for your support on the video, it seemed like you guys were really interested in actually watching Superman and Lois videos, so if you continue to keep on watching, we'll continue to keep on making videos, because I really enjoyed it and I really want to cover the show, so yeah, we're back with another Superman and Lois video, we're going to be talking about a theory to do with Superwoman coming to the show, and you might be asking, Superwoman? Why am I asking if Superwoman's going to come to the show? Well, if you remember in the episode, there was actually a reference to Superwoman in the episode. And although it was just talking about Clark's mum and it was like a figure of speech, it was put in there very deliberately. And so it's an obvious point that may be a teaser for what might be set up sometime in the near future. And so it seems like the show is going to build up to at least one of the kids maybe two of the kids, probably Jordan after what happened in the premiere with him finding out that he has powers, he's probably gonna lead up to becoming Superboy very soon. And I'm guessing there is gonna be some sort of tension between Jordan and Jonathan because everyone thought that Jonathan was the one who was gonna get powers, so I feel like Jonathan is gonna have some sort of deep down insecurities about not being the one with superpowers, and I figured they're gonna do something along the lines of one of them is going to have powers, obviously Jordan, and I think Jordan is going to be the one leading up to becoming Superboy. But then also Jonathan finds out he does have powers, but he turns a kind of darker route. So I think, you know, having these two opposing forces is kind of what they're going for in Superman Lois. And so I think it would make sense if they went down that route, kind of like a Brightburn kind of character. Obviously he's not going to go around killing people like in that film, however... I think maybe Jonathan might take a dark turn if he does get powers because maybe he becomes a bit insecure that his brother is the one who's going to become Superboy. Anyway, so that is just a bit of context about what happened in that episode. And, you know, considering that we are getting other superpower beings apart from just Superman, this pretty much sets us up for maybe another resident superhero to come and join the team. So like I said, there was a reference in the episode talking about Clark's mom name dropping Superwoman and so in the comics Superwoman is a big character and actually in just the recent comics Kara Zor-El actually took on the mantle of Superwoman so she changed from Supergirl when she left Earth but that's a whole other thing go read Future State Kara zor Superwoman that's what it's called if you want to see what's happening with Kara right now in the comics however that is different and in the comics Superwoman normally isn't Kara and in fact is normally two of the other characters that we have on this show. So as with lots of different characters in DC Comics, loads of people take up the mantle. And in the case of Superwoman, there is really just three main people that have taken on the mantle, and normally it is Lois Lane, which is obviously a person that we have on the show, who is the lead of the show, along with Superman. You also have Lucy Lane, who we've seen on Supergirl, and then additionally you have Lana Lang, who we met in episode one of Superman Lois. So you have these two characters, and obviously you have Lucy Lane on Supergirl, but we're going to kind of ignore her because I don't think the actress who plays Lucy is going to come back. So we're going to be sticking this theory to Lana and Lois because both in the comics they have become Superwoman even at the same time once. So now, in the comics when Superman died, Lana and Lois Lane both absorbed the energy released from Superman's dead body. Yeah, that's pretty dark, but anyway... Through this, they both developed superhuman powers and they became Superwoman. They took on that mantle and they created it for themselves. And like I said, at a point they did it together and they both were Superwoman. So it was like two Superwoman. And so Lana specifically gained the power to convert solar radiation into various forms of electromagnetic energy. And along with this, just like Superman, she had superhuman strength, invulnerability and the power of flight. So... Her being Superwoman in the comics definitely sets precedent that maybe, just maybe, Lana could get powers on the show. And I'm not saying that it's going to happen like straight away. It's not going to happen in the first five episodes. I'm saying in the future. I'm not even saying season one. You know, it could be season two, three, four, five, you know, wherever they get up to. I feel like at some point we're going to see an alternate version of Supergirl. So it's not going to be Supergirl, but it's going to be another superpower being who is like Superman and is like Supergirl 
but I think in this instance it's probably going to be Superwoman because they did literally reference it, so it's in the back of their minds somewhere. Or the other possibility is it could be Power Girl because that is an alternate version of Supergirl from another Earth. That doesn't mean that it has to be Melissa Benoist who isn't going to be on the show. It could be a totally new version and they've set a precedent for that as well because last episode they introduced a alternate version of Lex after Crisis because during Crisis he was on another Earth. Somehow he escaped the Earth where he came from. He has a spaceship. We saw that at the end of the premiere. So he is a version of Lex that doesn't look like the original Lex that is John Cryer from Supergirl and it's a completely different person. And so that could totally happen with Power Girl. But anyway, back to Superwoman. So yes, Lana in the comics has the power of converting solar radiation. Now obviously this is a different power from Superman. So because she's not naturally Kryptonian, she doesn't have the exact same powers. So please let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about this? Do you think that Lana, who we saw in episode one, will eventually become Superwoman? Or do you think it's going to be her daughter, Sarah? Because... Sarah had a big part to play in this episode and I feel like she's going to have a big part to play as we continue on. Because the CW doesn't always follow the comics. The shows do take stuff from the comics but they take big liberties, they change stuff around. So it doesn't have to be say Lana Lang or Lois Lane like it is in the comics who become Superwoman. It could totally be a new version of the character who is younger and is the same age as Superboy. So if Superboy happens and then he has Superwoman going around with him, that would be great. And they've set up that kind of relationship dynamic between Jordan and Sarah. So if he becomes Superboy and she becomes a version of Superwoman or like Power Girl or something, that would be amazing. And I think because they have set up that story and that kind of relationship between them, maybe something like that could happen. But it's all up in the air right now, we're just theorizing, but anyway, let's move on to Lois Lane specifically. So, yes, Lois is the main lead of the show, along with Superman, so Bitsy does a great job, especially in episode 1, and I can't wait to see her next week for episode 2. However, Lois normally doesn't have powers, but recently, she has become Superwoman a couple of times. And obviously in season 1, the big thing for Lois is going to be Morgan Edge and her trying to tackle her own villain who is, you know, infesting all of the towns. He's basically a villain for her journalistic side, so she's going to be dealing with that for most of the season. Obviously, she's going to have a part to play in the greater story with Superman, but I'm not expecting her to get any sort of powers in season one. I think it's more likely that someone else could get powers this season. So someone like Sarah or Lana could totally get powers this season however I think they're gonna take it a bit slower and it's not gonna be like right at the start or something and it may not even be in season one but yeah so Lois in the comics does develop powers similar to Superman's her powers are a bit different from Lana's because they are closer to Superman's and I guess that makes sense because it's pretty fitting because they're always together I mean you don't have Clark Kent without Lois Lane and you don't have Superman without Lois Lane and the show is Superman and Lois so what happens at one point if she gets powers she becomes Superwoman and she's flying around with her husband, with Superman, that would be awesome. I think that would be the coolest thing. Like, personally, that would be the thing that I would be rooting for. But I think it's pretty far-fetched, only because the show is totally going into her journalistic side. So I don't think they're going to go into her superheroic side that she has in the comics. However, that is still a possibility, and that would totally be my pick. And so in the comics, Lana actually helped train Lois to control her powers. So at first, Lana had a bit more control. And obviously, their powers are a bit different, but they're similar enough to both become Superwoman and both to train each other, essentially. And so it's very fitting that they both become it. And so there is the chance that if Superwoman ever does show up on the show, I think it's going to be a split between Lana, Lois, and Sarah. And so making Superman and Lois into a fully formed super family show would be amazing. Amazing. And seeing them all have superpowers like the whole family, that's cool. Because if you look at the Flash family in the comics, in Young Justice, or even in the Flash TV show, when you see all the speedsters team up together, it's just brilliant. It's so good. And so seeing a whole super family come together would be the best. And so also the cushions seem to be a big part of the show. They definitely tease that in episode one. And so normally the CW does actually form different families. They sort of form families from friends. And so now there's two actual families rather than just friends. So combining those two families, merging them to form one bigger super family with superpowers 
I think that could totally work. So let me know all your theories down in the comments below. Do you think that Lana Lang, Lois Lane, or Sarah are going to become Superwoman at any point on Superman Lois? We'll have to wait and see, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this theory, because I have got quite a lot of theories to do with Superman Lois. So if you guys keep on watching the videos, you enjoy them. I will continue making them, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you're new, and turn on notifications to not miss any Superman Lois videos. Remember, this week, Superman Lois is coming back for episode 2, and then also, on that same day, we've got The Flash premiering for season 7. I can't wait to cover all of it. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red. Oh,